paint pouring people in a recent video I did this big 24 by 24 flower what it is it's a wet white background and then a puddle pour and blown out with a hair dryer very simple technique a lot of fun today I'm going to use that same technique only I'm going to scale down the size I'm going to do a butterfly and since a butterfly is a little more specific shape than the flower I have myself a new little fun thing it's a small blower it's called it is the world's smallest blower and the reason I'm using this today is for a little bit more control if you use the hair dryer you know that it's it's pretty uh, pretty out of control now the point of paint pouring is to be a little out of control but sometimes you just want the paint to go where you want it to go so for this butterfly shape I'm gonna use this little this little thing right here there's no heat involved it's just air I got this on Amazon it's very inexpensive and it is in my uh, Amazon list which the link is below to all my Amazon supplies my favorite supplies so um, you do need if you get one of these you do need your own plug if you've got an extra plug around this is a USB port so bewares that you do need that doesn't come with one but other than that it's great okay so today I have a an 11 by 14 panel I just happened to have one that was gessoed in black I'm, I'm still gonna pour the wet white background on it but we'll see uh, we'll see what it looks like I'm basically gonna cover the whole thing with white so we may not see any black but I just wanted to go ahead and use this because it was there so we'll just see what happens okay I'm gonna get started with my wet white background there's no measured amount on this but it is important to get good coverage with your white background because it's going to help you when you blow these colors around I'm just spreading it with my hand I'm going to see if I've got about the right amount I'm trying to get it somewhat even although it's never going to be perfectly even but I don't really want any thin spots again practice will just let you know if you have too much or not enough this looks about right yeah that'd be fine we'll just see okay now I'm going with I'm making four puddles today one it's going to represent each wing don't need a lot because I've got several colors I want to put down and it's going to spread doesn't have to be perfect but I'm just trying not to get too much down let's see how that looks I'm gonna go for just a touch more looking for about the right amount and you can mix up these colors I'm doing them all these wings all the same but what I am going to do before I blow this out is I'm going to take this is pansy purple this is a, a different color obviously than what's in the puddle I'm just going to go around the which will be the top wing on one side and then another color this is raspberry shake on the top of the other wing and these are my happy medium paint ready to pour colors if you would like to use these colors they are all listed in the description below now I'm going to do the fun part get my little blower out and blow I'm going to start one blowing it into a wing shape
See, it didn't take much. You can see I got some nice ragged edges, which is what I was shooting for. Now I'm going to I'm going to uh, turn it into a butterfly with my black outline. I like doing a little black body down the center. If you want to leave something just undone like this, you can, but I'm going to show you how to take it a little further if you want. And this is just some black. I don't want to overdo the body because it's pretty easy to make it too heavy. So I'm just indicating kind of a fun squiggly body and do a real simple outline of the wings. You can see I'm sort of following the color but not exact. Just want to keep it real loose. Okay, in just, in just such a short period of time, I'm very pleased with how this looks. So I'm going to turn it around so you get a, a view of it from your direction. I'm going to leave it right like it is. There's no need to go any further. I like everything that's happening here. It's nice and delicate. I'm loving butterflies. You know, I never used to do butterflies, but when I started my Happy Medium Paint Ready to Pour, I decided to use a butterfly as a logo because I had done some pouring videos where I was doing butterflies. And I'm really liking the, the concept of a butterfly, how we just, we all love butterflies. They're free and easy. It represents freedom to me. So I now just love painting butterflies. It's so easy. They're just like flying flowers, as, as uh, somebody said. Anyway, I don't know. Um, check out my links below for my social media links. Go to uh, my Facebook group, Paint Pouring People. If you want to post pictures of your butterflies trying this technique. And if you'd like to try my Happy Medium Paint Ready to Pour, there's a link below. You can only get it at happymedium.fun. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing everybody's butterflies. We'll see you next time.